say that it feels right Hey guys, welcome back for another Clash Royale video. So in today's video, we will be taking a look at some off-meta moda shared by Retaliation. Retaliation is a moda specialist and he creates very unique moda deck and today's, today's deck is one of them. And yeah, you have Guards, Dark Prince, uh, Cannon Card, Inferno D and Goblin Drill, the OP Drill as well as two spells and a moda obviously. And he reached 8. 8.1k which was pretty OP <laughs> he reached that like a couple days ago and I reached out to him and he said uh, he could share some replays uh, with us and yeah so this is deck and uh, yeah without further ado let's just jump right into the replays so first replay against KK so uh, we all know who KK is so I don't have to um, talk too much about him very very solid player so retaliation is on the top of the screen it's gonna start off with a uh, uh, mortar and KK is gonna respond with an e-spirit bot barrel as well as a mega minion over committing on the mortar the mortar doesn't get a shot so it's alright for KK and now both players are just sitting at uh, even elixir and KK decides to go in with RG at the back. Meanwhile, Retaliation cycles the Dark Prince at the back to pressure opposite lane. And he plays the cannon card in front so the Dark Prince can push it to uh, shoot the tower. The cage was slow. And yeah, Inferno D for the RG. E Spirit and Mega Minion, hopefully, to take down the Inferno D, but it's going to be a waste for KK. And Retaliation is uh, in a big lead. Oh, by the way, shout out to the orange to the orange juice clan, the, to the OJ clan. And uh, KK just plays a baby dragon at the back. Retaliation uh, don't want to commit more elixir on the baby D, so he just arrows, and KK just went in with RG as well as a, a lumberjack, goblin drill plus guard, and. Uh, Goblin Barrel, Bart Barrel comes down from uh, KK and then Dark Prince has to be played to prevent more damage. And now uh, Dark Prince connected onto the left tower but it's okay for retaliation, it's all good for him. And now it just sets up another mortar to go on offense and a cage in response. A Mega Minion to uh, hopefully snipe the mortar down and Inferno D to burn two of those air units. Then uh, Retaliation just goes in with Goblin Drill once again. Lumberjack in response, but Fireball comes down to push back the Lumberjack. And a barrel was played. And uh, the Inferno D is getting a lot of value, not gonna lie. RG plus Mega Push by KK. And then uh, Inferno D and Mortar as well as Guards. Well, oh, the other thing uh, Retaliation mentioned is Guard is really underrated in this meta because it functions as a, another um, card for the Goblin Drill so it's actually okay to bring Guards if you want to. So another Drill and Fireball push by um, Retaliation but that is spell range. So it just has to uh, buy some more time with the Mortar and then just arrow the tower, take the duck. So very, first, very good first game by Retaliation against KK. Okay, on to our second game against Blueface. So Blueface is playing uh, the Lava Loon cycle with Bomber and Skeletons as well as Miner, the quicker cycle version of Lava Loon. Uh, but Retaliation has plenty of response to it though. He has Arrows, Fireball and Inferno D. So yeah, Balloon and Minutes are going to get answered uh, by a Fireball though, but it's going to get hit. Ooh, it actually does. So not a good start for Retaliation, he only got a mortar shot off the mortar. So, um, and both of them are sitting at even Elixir. 
Retaliation is going to cycle Dark Prince and meanwhile Blueface is going to mirror it with a minor. And now it's going to Lava at the back. Retaliation just uh, plays a cannon card. Hopefully to apply some pressure on the opposite lane. And now Goblin Drew is played. Mega Minion comes down. Bomber is played as well. Arrows comes down for, uh, for the Bomber and then an Inferno D for the Lava Hound. A Miner is played. And is Retaliation going to respond to this though with a Fireball? Don't think he will. Yeah, he's just going to let the tower go. And a Balloon came down as well from, uh, from the opponent. And Retaliation just goes in with a Mortal Opposite Lane and Fireballs onto the minions. To bring the tower to... Uh, down to a very low health, which is uh, 655. And the bomber, I don't think that bomber was necessary though. Uh, retaliation just goes in with a drill to take down the tower. And now a cannon cut on opposite lane. Skeletons and uh, Mega Minion in response. The goblins are actually getting a lot of damage onto the king tower though. So uh, retaliation might go, go for the king. And arrows comes down for the minions. Man, they, the Inferno D is actually putting in so much work. Fireball to push back the balloon as well as cleaning up some of the pups. Well, actually, it's five of them, so yeah, most of the pups. Goblin Drew push as well as a cannon card. Arrows for the bomber. Miner to try to uh, distract the cannon card, but it actually locked onto the tower. And now 432 HP. 432 HP uh, remain on Blueface King Tower. So uh, he's gonna play a Lava Hound uh, for the Retaliation's King. But that won't be enough. A Guards anticipating for the Miner. And then just a Goblin Drill as well as an Arrow for the King. But it didn't bring down the King though. Very close to uh, spell cycle range now. He just has to play a fireball as well as a drill, I believe. Yeah, the balloon is actually getting pretty close to the tower, but not quite. So, because retaliation just fireball and took the dub. Man, it's a very nice game against Lava, huh? What a comeback! So, our next game against Lucas. So uh, this is the Lucas X Gamer, the the guy who just won CRL last month or this month, I think last month. Yeah, the July split. Plays a uh, cage. Dark Prince in response. Dark Prince is such a good counter to uh, the Goblin Drill. And then uh, immediately mortars after that. Valkyrie comes down, cannon cut to uh, try to snipe the Valkyrie, but uh, Lucas plays a Tesla. He still has to respond to the cannon cut. And now a Goblin Drew by Retaliation. Goblins as well as NATO is played by Lucas, but yeah, that won't be enough. The Goblins are gonna get a ton of damage onto the tower, bringing down the tower to 2000 health. Which is a very good start for retaliation. And now guards. Guards are played to apply some pressure. Arrows for the firecracker. <laughs> Lucas is just spamming the CRL number one emote. And then he plays a drill opposite lane with uh, the wall breakers. Unfortunately though, the Warbreakers will connect onto the tower, both of them, uh, but Dark Prince will clean up most of the goblins and go on counter push. He plays a cannon card in front, just like last time against KK, but uh, Lucas is quick with his Valkyrie, and but I don't think, yeah, he still has to commit to a lot, or unless, yeah, the, the Dark Prince will get a lot of damage, which is, uh, which is what happened. Lucas wanted to save Elixir to uh, try to go on a push or something. Arrows come down for the goblins and a drill by Lucas himself. 
And here's what I mentioned. Uh, the guards are actually really good against uh, the Goblin Drill. Goblins actually got only got a stab, I think. Now I still have to respond to the Dark Prince. And Retaliation just goes in with Mortal of the Lane. Dark Prince splashes onto the tower. Warbreaker and a Goblin Drill push once again by Lucas. Arrows come down. Guards come down. And yeah, what a good defense. Now Retaliation just has to uh, yeah, protect the mortar, and the mortar is just firing away at the tower and mortar for the Warbreakers because he knew Lucas would do that. Cannon cut for the Goblins, and yeah that's GG, 10 seconds left and there's nothing Lucas can do but laugh, <laughs> and yeah it's just spamming the Goblin laughing emote. <laughs> Retaliation is flexing with his uh, 20 win emote from 2018. Okay, on to our last game, which is Oyasu. I believe a lot of you guys actually watch his content. And yeah, let's see how uh, Retaliation defeated Oyasu. So, um, Oyasu is playing a more popular version of uh, Goblin Drill that compared to. Uh, what Lucas was playing. He splits Warbreakers, cannon cut for the Warbreakers, and uh, Goblin Drill immediately opposite lane by Oyasu, which is caught by the Dark Prince. Then Bomber plus Skeletons for the cannon cut. And now Goblin Drill himself is Retaliation. Warbreakers for the Dark Prince. Dark Prince actually uh, went to the other side to try to catch the a Warbreaker, but which is and uh, Oyasu just pull it back with a Fire Spirit and now Inferno D onto the Valkyrie. Sets up a Mortar to go on offense. And Mortar actually locked onto the Tower Guards for the Goblin Drill. This is what I was saying once again. The Guards is underrated. Not gonna lie. Tesla, a late Tesla for the Mortar. Mortar actually got uh, 3 shots, I believe, onto the Tower. And now Retaliation is sitting um, comfortably with a 500 health lead. Dark Prince in response for the Warbreakers. Okay, the Tesla is going to bring down the shield though. A, a Bomber and a Fire Spirit for the Dark Prince. Dark Prince will get pulled by the Bomber but doesn't kill it, unfortunately. And here... Yeah, he's just gonna let it go and then arrows. And sets up another mortar once again. Tesla by Oyasu. And Skeleton Split to distract the mortar. As well as a bomber to take it down quicker. And a goblin drill by a Retaliation to go on offense. And the Duck Prince for the Warbreakers. So we also responded uh, the drill with a Valkyrie. Now goes on offense with Goblin Drill himself on the left lane as well as Warbreakers. Arrows and Guards, which will do a pretty good job against uh, the pushers. And now uh, last second Valkyrie onto uh, Inferno D, which will pull the Inferno D back and then Cannon Cut for the Valkyrie and Dark Prince for the Goblin Drill. Sets up another mortar to apply more pressure. So yeah, the, both of the Warbreakers will be pulled by the cannon form of the cannon card. Now he plays a Tesla, arrows for the bomber. Goblin drill once again. Plays a guard. And a Dark, Dark Prince for the Fire Spirits. So Valkyrie for the Dark Prince. Mortar is still distracted, so yeah, well played by Oyasu on uh, the defensive end. Now he still has to contend with this cannon card. Arrows for the bomber. And now the cannon card locked onto the tower. Guards for the goblin drill once again. Valkyrie has to be played but that won't be uh, in time. And another drill by Oyasu. Mortar to distract the Valkyrie. And meanwhile Dark Prince can uh, chip away at the goblin drill. So both of them are pretty even in terms of uh, damage fireball onto the bomber 
and now Goblin Drill once again, which is uh, which will be caught by the Ken card. Fireball comes down, Arrow comes down to clean up everything, and then goes on offense with Mortar as Retaliation once again. Skeleton split to distract the Mortar. Bomber to take it down quicker, just like last time, and Inferno D to take it down even faster. And now the guards and the cannon will do a very good job against the Goblin Drill that we also played. And yeah, the Goblin Drill by Retaliation as well as the Inferno D actually took down the tower. And that's GG. Okay, so very nice games against... Uh, very popular players I'd say, KK, Lucas and Oyasu. Uh, once again this is the off meta mortar deck, mortar goblin drill deck. And yeah, put in the guard if you're tired of the goblin drill, it's actually a very good response to it. And yeah, once again I want to thank Retaliation for sharing these replays. He does have a Twitter so don't forget to follow him on Twitter. And yeah, once again shout out to the OJ clan and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.